And now, your first alert five weather. Now this is why they call it colorful Colorado. Our sky, our landscape, our flowers and foliage. The sunflowers are just looking epic right now. So prime time season for them and it's the prime time season for monsoon. But we're getting a bit of a break today. Quite lovely, calm, a little cooler than average. And in terms of our sky coverage, we just have a few stray puffy white clouds out there. 86 right now in Monument, a slight breeze around 16 miles per hour, 31% humidity. I couldn't get much better than that. Maybe a little bit cooler would be nice. Now in terms of our conditions in La Junta, it's 82 degrees sunshine and we're looking pretty clear out there. So in general, a uh, pretty nice evening if you're going to head out for some errands to get dinner, maybe have dinner on the patio. Uh, the entire state is rain free, but I am tracking this round of showers and thunderstorms. The moisture associated with this will be coming to Colorado in the next few days, and that will increase our storm chances. But for now, we're in this break zone where we're dry. 70s and 80s are across the board from the mountains to the plains here this afternoon. Tonight will drop to the 40s, 50s and 60s. The higher terrain, the mountain elevations will see the 40s and the lower terrain, the plains will see those 60s. By tomorrow, we're going to get rid of these cooler temperatures. The heat returns 95 in Pueblo, 87 in Colorado Springs will be above average tomorrow. And there's a chance that a few of us here for I-25 will see a couple thunderstorms. So across the region tomorrow, we're mostly talking low to mid 80s in the mountains, 80s and 90s into the plains. So back to our August heat and back to those monsoon storms. So that moisture plume from Arizona, New Mexico today, it's going to make its way to us by tomorrow. We're going to start the first half of the day nice and clear with a few clouds. Then thunderstorms will favor the mountains. A few of those storms will move into the I-25 corridor th through the afternoon and early evening. And you'll notice as those storms enter into the eastern plains, they dissipate pretty quickly and they do not intensify. We aren't expecting any widespread severe weather tomorrow. Should just be your general run of the mill, lightning, thunder, quick downpour. And we do have monsoon showers coming in from the desert southwest. That will be with us for the next few days increasing as we head through the weekend and all the way through about Monday. And then we'll start to dry back out as we head towards the middle of next week. But in the meantime, in the next five days, Southern Colorado will be favored for pockets of heavy rainfall in our region here. We can see anywhere from a quarter inch to about an inch of rain as we head through this quick monsoon pattern in the extended outlook. So you'll see those storm chances on the rise. Thursday as a whole is going to be pretty dry, but we just have that isolated thunder chance. When you see that storm impact scale two out of five, that green color, that means lightning and thunder is possible that you, you may need to run inside, but we're not expecting severe weather. And that will be the case for the next few days. Our greatest chance of rain will be Sunday, Monday, but we at least have a possibility of that every day. For Pueblo, It'll be drier and hot in the next two days. Better chance of rain showers, slightly cooler air this weekend and by Monday, then drying out, heating up by the middle of next week. For Canyon City, temperatures upper 80s, low 90s the next five days with at least a chance of a daily afternoon thunderstorm. Then we start to dry out next week. Woodland Park, some heavier pockets of rain certainly possible for you, especially Sunday, Monday. Temperatures stay solid in the 70s and almost a daily thunderstorm chance. Diane. Alex, thank you. Social